Pick in the game. Ooh! There is in the DLC pot. Don't lie. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Unplug your webcam. I think we're good. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee okay, 427, remember that. It might be a code for a door. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders Ooh, just like me, bro. Desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Okay. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every Okay, stream a POV. And although others might have considered it soul-lifting, Stanley relished every Can I turn it up? Say less. The orders came in. Though he had been made exactly for this job. It's so loud for me now, Stanley, but that's okay. I can bear with it. I can bear with it. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. Is it too he loud now? that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No it's loud for us too? To give him instructions call a meeting, or even say, hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Okay. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest Did time. I break the game? But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. What the fuck? Oh fuck, I'm playing the game. <laughs> I was like, okay, the cutscene's broken, bro. Okay, G814, that's a code to something, surely. Isn't this game just like fuck around the game? Like fuck around down a path and then like shit happens? Wait, he told me to go down. Okay. I'm starting my day, bro. It's like a, an escape room when there's no Orders wrong things. Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door twenty. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Where's my fucking achievement, bro? I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Perhaps 50 clicks will do. Yes, almost certainly. I've already got 50, dude. Easy. There's no way I don't... I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment. A willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? Oh, where is it? Where is it? I'm clicking that shit. 417? Where is that shit? I feel like I'm going to pass out, dude. Oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. 437? Easy, dude. Is this a long... What is, am I doing? 437. Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's 415. give it 10 clicks or so. It's so loud, guys. Is it not? Am I fucking crazy? Fuck, I forgot what door. 415? Now, back to door number 437. Can I sprint? Can I boost an OBS? Uh, uh, did my audio break? Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think we're getting somewhere. 417 again. Why is it muted? You guys are trolling me, dude. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. How do I jump? 419. 
How do I jump? Oh, I got the, I got it. I got, I got the achievement. I got an achievement. Is that the right one though? Was that the right achievement? How the fuck do you jump, bro? I got an achievement for trying to jump. Yes. This oh is fuck! Great. Okay, You're we're still going. On the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go, give me a few clicks on door four one six. Four one six, dude. We almost got it. Now the copy yes, machine yes. do that one again. Yes. <laughs> Yay! I'm getting an achievement. Yes. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door four three zero. Dude, he's about to bust, dude. 430? He's about to churn, man. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm very proud of how far we've come today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. A few minutes, really? bro? That shit took me what like a minute thinking? max, man. That should took me like a whole minute. Why is he saying a few minutes? He's underestimating my abilities? This fucking chapstick bullshit, bro. Chapstick is actually a scam. I need to find a solution to this. My lips are so dry. They're so dry. It's the fucking chapstick, bro. How often do you use it? Like, I don't know. Like four times a day? What brand? I don't know, I took the label off. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, now this is what this game is all about, yeah? I've never played it, but I know the vibes, bro. He says door on the left. I don't have to go on the fucking left, man. I could probably go back out this way. No, just kidding. Fuck you. I probably... I'm probably going the door on the right, bro. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. can't find the sensitivity. Like, I was trying to change the sensitivity, dude. Is it camera sensitivity? Probably. Ah, yes. Truly okay. A room worth okay. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Is Chibli on coke? No. Why? Do you, does it sound like I am? My bad. I would yes. never do... Really, really worth it being here in the room. Okay! A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth now it. Now I don't want to leave the fucking room, bro! Cause you want me to leave so bad. I want to stand here forever, man. Are you gonna spawn like a demon on At my this ass? Stan is obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. Shut up, bro! It's possible that this is why everyone left. Dude's getting in my head, man. Let me fucking chill, dude. I've been working every day, every fucking day of my life for the past twenty years, Stan man. Stan around waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more. He decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Yeah, he's calling me a pervert for sitting in a room. There's going to be more dialogue. I guarantee it. I'm so confident. I'm just going to take a sip of water. Why is the time wrong? Don't ask me.
What the fuck? You can walk with right click? Wait, <laughs> this game's made for jacking off. He'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Dude, I'm playing Portal all of a sudden. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift, a thousand dollars, okay. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. He would never jump? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, <laughs> Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Dude, I would survive that IRL. That's bullshit. I fucking had to start over. All of his co workers were. Oh, no shot, man. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply. Is that an ending? Memo. Did I find the secret ending? <laughs> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Speedrun. We're doing a speedrun all of a sudden. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business. The dialogue can't Stanley even keep up, the first dude. Open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, I just need to know, chat, like, is it possible, you see this door, like, in this game, would it be, would it make sense if there was, like, a key card I could find to open the store, or is that not, like, is, is, that's not that deep, it's not that deep. No? Okay, good. Good to know, before I fucking start trying to interact with everything. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I want to go over there. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult. I forgot you can't fact, jump. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do. I forgot All you can't jump, dude. Gone. What could it mean? I'm going to get a secret ending by closing every door behind me, dude. He had simply missed a memo. It's gonna be like a rare unseen ending that no one's ever seen Stanley before. Came to a set of two open door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. If I close Perhaps every open door I see the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was sublime. Oh, they what automatically about? closed behind you. What was it about this but eager to get back to business? No one. Stanley took the first open door on his left. That one didn't automatically close. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, I won't fuck up. Yo, local witch, thing with the prime. Thank you. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Oh! Really? I was oh! in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to. I don't help trust you this dude, to bro. You something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. There's probably another secret achievement right here. If I click this door like a hundred times. Okay, maybe not. Wait, I'm scared. This is a horror game. I'm scared. Now listen carefully. This okay. is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, 
Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I want it to stop. I would... We would both Bro, I went so through the fucking scam door, dude! Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Oh. Is there any other is it the end of the game, bro? Like did I fucking lose, man? I can't see. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Can I jump off? I made it? I did? I won the game? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. Life. I feel happy. <laughs> Life, bro. He didn't tell me to go down the stairs and go through this, so I think I'll just stay here forever, bro. I think I'll just stay standing on this. Imagine this in VR though, man. Holy shit, bro. Baby sensory, literally. Content created. Yo! Rosie, thank you for the 18 months. Let's go. Thank you. I hope you're well. Wait, chat, should I continue? I guess I'll fucking continue, man. <laughs> Content Yo, Steve? Masterson? Master... Masterton? Masterson? Masterson? Thank you so much no, for the Prime. Wait. Where are you going? My bad. My bad. My bad, bro. Right. Where were we? This game would be so awesome if you love being told what to do, bro. Like, if you don't have a rebellious bone in your body and you just love taking orders, man, oh my god, this shit must make you go crazy, bro. Red. Red. Can I go yet? Can I leave? I don't want to disappoint him, man. I got bored. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Okay. Good, good. We can't be too <laughs> safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. Bro, I want to fucking like play the rest of the game, man. Just eat the drywall. True, I put like a little tunnel around the stairs by eating through. Ah, good lagoon. No, what do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. Are you... you are going to stay here, aren't you? Fuck it, I'm going up the stairs, man. I don't care. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? I ain't dead yet, bro!
Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. This is fucking grim, bro. This is fucking fucked up, man. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> they want me to jump? What if I don't do it, though? What if I just go- Nah, fuck it. No, nah, what if I just go back to the room, though? But, like, the stairs were so long. I don't want to go all the way up the stairs again. That shit took so fucking long, man. I thought there'd be a room up here, dude. Oh, oh fuck, I fell! <laughs> oh, I'm good. Thank God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? Okay. I'm walking slower now, bro. Holy, we're missing the light show, man. There, see? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay, I'm not moving. I'm not even gonna move my mouse. My mouth. I ain't even gonna speak. Roll the fucking credits, dude. Or I'll eat another gummy vitamin. Fuck it, I'm jumping off of the stairs. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Fuck you, bro! Everything you tell me to do is boring as shit. No, and we die? No, yup. No, what are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince I'm you? I'm jumping off the steps, bro. Fuck this, man. I got too bored. Bye. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. No, fuck can you! you. Content Yo, the Dawn, they were the prime. Is this really how much you dislike my game? Oh. Did you throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were oh. literally willing to kill yourself Content to keep me created. from being happy. <laughs> Am I reading your situation correctly? He's guilt tripping me, bro. You'd rather kill yourself than play my game. Yo, Serval Simp, they were the four months. Yes. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. Oh, fine. I'll go back to the like fucking lights, man. Dramatic oh, ass. Such a fucking dramatic little baby, bro. Guilt tripping the you hell out of me, trying to manipulate me. Or are you just teasing me? The thing is, he keeps saying this room is like eternal happiness, man. Just don't move. I go in here, I don't move, nothing happens. I, I hate to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I'm not gonna lie. I, I still thought that was possible. A light show isn't my idea of happiness, man. I don't know if that's toxic, but my idea of happiness isn't looking at a bunch of fucking lights in uh, the void. Uh, I'm sorry. This sparks me next to no joy. Did it spark joy at one point? Yeah, for the first like five seconds, but then I got the dopamine power creep, dude. You need to add a better item into the game so I can get more dopamine. What was if I jump off here? Dopamine power creep chippers the modern Shakespeare. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna try this other chapstick I have. It's in a tub, which I normally don't like because you have to stick your fingers in it. I'm making a chapstick cocktail, dude. Can I make the noise with it?
me in the pussy if I'm being honest. Don't that is somehow you saying that is worse than what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be honest. Don't be honest. You can lie sometimes. It's okay. Okay, I think there's no other option I have except to die. I literally just have to jump off the thing and die. That's it. I have no other choice, bro. I ran out of dialogue. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. I like to imagine <laughs> someone has played this game and they didn't know there was multiple endings and they got to that one and they're like, this game fucking sucks, man. All this shit's so stupid. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Both suicide endings? Wait, did I really? When Stanley okay, I'm gonna go on the left. Two open doors, I'm gonna go on the, the left. On his left. I'm running. Yet there was not a single person here okay. either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Wait, I should have gone. I should have gone the way I went last time, and then took the the blue door. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. No, I fucking didn't. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. It's fucking fun. That's why. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As is there is, anything? He's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Fuck all. That means fuck all, guys. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, okay. at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, but the door was openable, which means I have that you're giving me the, a choice Maybe to go in there, this which means I'm going to go in there, bro. Branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concern. Oh, did you get in the broom closet ending, chat? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Was ugly and really, really stupid. What he the probably fuck? Only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Dude, this is the worst fucking man I've ever met. Well, this dude sucks. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system <laughs> and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body... It's gonna dox me! ...before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who has oh, never mind. Nearby, I thought it was going to call an ambulance to my house, bro. Dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. 
so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. I found something to interact with, man. I could spend the next like five hours in here easy, dude. You did complete Desert Bus? Exactly. I could find endless amounts of content in content here. Created. Like, I spy Looking. with my little eye something beginning with. H. That's the hazard symbol. The radioact like the radioactive hazard symbol. Okay, something tells me it's been so long without dialogue. Now there's actually, I've exhausted all of the content in here. Drawline, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you so much. But if I leave, what if I reset all the dialogue? I don't want to reset the dialogue, bro. Because then I got to come back in and wait again. Now everyone's doing uh, clueless or where or whatever, which makes me think I shouldn't leave. Ah, you too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Another sip of water time. We got the downtime. So how's life? How is life? Let me ask myself in the most serious way possible. Life's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Life's okay. It's been all right. I would say can't complain, but you can always complain about something in life. Surely there's always something, bro. Like, what could I complain about? Not being able to find an apartment is kind of annoying as fuck. I've been looking for literally months. My lips are chapped. Um, I've got a cold sore. Which means I've been kissing people. So maybe I can't complain about having a cold sore, dude. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken Content that risk? Created. All because he believed everyone had vanished. Tenelia, thank you for the 31 His months. Would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked? What the fuck is that sound? Is that a woman crying? Down. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. 
Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. They got mold, bro. His weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Is this game gonna ha make me have a breakdown? He imagined himself Wait, I'm fucking tall as fuck. Oh, I got tiny again. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. Okay. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Mad Moon, bro. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake Fuck! right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a Fuck! shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Fuck! Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, Fuck! if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Get trolled, bozo! So I win! I win! And he invited himself to win. No! He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Is it I gonna turn into a horror over. game? That'd be so cool. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything Ooh. will be fine. Ooh. I am okay. Fake it till you make it, bro. Oh, wait, I'm still here. Wait, I'm, I'm, uh, I didn't get TP'd? I thought that was the end of the game. Stanley began screaming. Please, oh! someone wake me oh! up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss, I have an office, I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must That's be real. That's me! I must be Can hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Let's get the fuck out of me, dude! Like, the, the scream wasn't genuine, but it actually this is scared the story me. of a woman named Mariella. What the fuck? Woman story arc unlocked? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Huh? But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon can I get an ending where I don't die? <laughs> just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Yeah, he has feet. What crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. I don't apparently, bro. To think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Her hair kind of looks like a, like a bird. Like the back of her hair? Tooth man, thank you for the good sub. Welcome to Watch Mojo for this. Okay, third ending where I fucking die? I honestly thought it was gonna start the game over again and I was just gonna be playing as her. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. 
What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed the memo. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to the right, and then I'm getting to the blue and red door, and I'm taking the other one. Fuck it. Fuck it. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. We're gonna get the other death ending, bro. By the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I will never take the correct way you're meant to play this game in my life. I'll never take the correct path. Back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five Content years ago. Shy guy, thank you for the four months. Thank you. Welcome back. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Not me pressing V to hit the gritty like it's lethal company. Someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. I wonder what's over there, though. Time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. What? Really? Bye. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't Give me the doors, bro. Give me the this, doors. I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. I took the red one last time, right? And then it made me uh, jump off a cliff until I died? Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Nah. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? <laughs> well, don't let me stop you. Got his ass. Oh, cute. It's like portal. See, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because Wait, I, I can't even jump off, and man. End, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely a, nothing a so far. A battle pass! A battle pass! Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. Oh, fuck. Adoption. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Well, okay, I was gonna take it for a fucking spin, and then the dude told me to take it for a spin, so now I kind of just want to go through the door that I was meant to go through in the fucking first place, bro. But the question is, if I take this door, is it going to just progress me through the story normally? Or is it, an, is this three endings right here? Is this another, is this three endings, bro? It's probably three endings. And because I'm trying to decide through those two, I'm going to take this one. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Um, Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I think more options are always... Uh, well, too many options is, is overwhelming, though. I think... Uh, nah, I'm pretty neutral on it. Oh, of course. A three. Really. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Any okay. level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? I meant to press four. Yes? Mm? I meant to press four, Wonderful. dude. This guy's just like Twitch yeah. chat, man. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park. This is just one. like Let's Twitch streamer POV the game. You do some... Oh. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. Oh, is this real? Is this real? Are these real people? Where's German 984? Where's German, bro? Do you know that 21%? Oh, where am I? A dead rat. This is you. I've not been playing this game for fucking seven hours. Be real. Be fucking real with yourself. 
But uh, top 9,000, like top 10,000, that's not that bad. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. No. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Put me in Counter-Strike. Look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You want to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. That baby is my cousin? Wait, really, Brizzo? Really what the but fuck? Course, the message of the game it, kind, it does kind of look like you. Once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. So I have to do this for four hours? Okay, I'm not the fucking asshole for killing the baby, dude. It's annoying. No, 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 no. I don't want to do it yet. Is this so is the game still too quiet guys? Is it still too quiet? You heartless bastard. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Yeah, put Let's me in, like, see. TF2 or what something. <laughs> put me in Escape Simulator. Yes. This seems Put like me in league. league. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Fascinating. What do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? Fucking Firewatch, man. Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twist. Why does this guy want me to be a pervert so badly? Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is oh, out there. Oh, you're telling me to come, but I'm the fucking pervert? You're the one saying come, bro. Is this literally just Firewatch? Should I- am I meant to like change category? No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Bad. Good God, quickly block it off. No! <sighs> Thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That Fuck you, open, bro! Just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, oh, oh. thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something Wait, with I get nice, to play another game? Insurmountable Wait, there's a hole! <laughs> okay. I think this will be just the thing. No, 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 this all fucking Rocket League, but I'm the referee. Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. 
Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now, Hamster this POV. is game design. Hamster POV, Stan, dude. If you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. I'll get lost. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. I'm gonna get a goal, guys. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a goal. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? I'm head Isn't running it my miserable little story that I work so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw... Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, now what? I just played Portal 2? Oh, fuck, I fell. Ah, oh, fuck, it's a horror game, bro. This is PT, man. This is PT. Wait, in PT, do you just walk around the room repeatedly and find... The one time I watched someone play PT, they found, like, a baby being born out of, like, a... Like a... Like a, um... Sink. It was pretty odd. I can't lie. And it was a little scary. Sink, baby. Did I remember correctly? Is that actually in the game? They remade PT, right? In like a, another engine on PC? Dude, I feel so lost without the narrator, man. I don't know what to do. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Did I win? I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. I didn't mind it. He'll it was kind of nice. What I was trying to tell him. It was nice down there, he dude. Me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. I was that a bit lost, I mean, though. I can't lie. World. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's he no needs me. Way. He needs me. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Oh, uh, oh, uh, 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 I'm doing something? No, I'm just in the fucking void, dude. Oh, I won. I won. Maybe? Put me back in Firewatch, bro. Fuck. Just a step through this door, Stanley thought to himself. That's all I need. If I can make it through this door, I can make it through the Okay, door. now we have to do the same thing, but we gotta go through the red door, man. When Stanley came We gotta to go through the red door. The door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps can I follow his instructions? Oh first, shit, I probably should, huh? It. Stanley felt lightheaded. He already did know the second red start, door. No, the third red door. Stanley took the first open door on his left. You did that? No, no, no. Stanley was so bad Blue door, then red door. It goes to the same place? Ago. Oh, fuck. Does it really? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone okay, else... Okay, I guess I'll go this way. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. 
content Someone created. Yo, comfortably. Thank you so much for the brand new tail on. Chib. Guys, repeat, uh, finish the sentence for me. Chib. E. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to I'm going in here. Fuck you, dude. To put your no, I'm kidding, dude. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. My wife? My ex-wife? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out. Okay. Imagine if I picked this up and it was my ex-wife. Imagine how fucking funny that would be. To her. If you can truly place your faith in another. Unplug the phone. Then pick up the phone. As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Wait, you were married? Yeah. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Fuck! Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Chat, you and took away the good ending the from me, is dude. This somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. You guys I want understand. me to live with my worst How life possible, man. Choices. What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't Let me out. It. Let me I out. I noticed it sooner. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for uh, real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity Cover my camera? Of Wait, what happens? He's gonna show your location? Guys, I trust Jim. Guys, I trust Jim, and Jim said the game is safe. I trust Jim. It's safe? See, look, I trust Jim. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Try. It's the best part. Of being a real person, I trust that it. If used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. I For trust example, it. I don't. Know, what's the example? In this. Okay, it's just a guy. Mario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert, has a choice. That's my name. That's my name. How the fuck did it get my name, bro? It's not safe. It's my name. It's my name. It's my name. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world. That's my kitchen, dude! Fuck! To make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which no, it's me! Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform Six. to rational logic. That's literally how I do maths. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Chat, do not... Excellent. Wait, what Making the fuck? Choices. Why did it say practice? Chat, do not... If you guys live with that rule, you realize you would never watch my streams ever again, okay? on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? I probably make and eight. Finally, I probably make if you eight. Begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember 
that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling Yay! should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce I'm nothing. the material I'm nothing. covered in this video. Ah, I welcome back. What the fuck? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good I think making, being we revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Being nothing is better than being everything. Right? Cuz imagine Imagine you make a choice and it doesn't matter, but imagine if you made a choice and it affected everything, bro. That's so much pressure. That would be such a stressful life. Your choices determine everything. Fuck that, man. I want to fucking make the choice of like cookies or cream or vanilla, man. That it's nothing. I'm nothing. I'm a guy buying ice cream, dude. Elon Musk is so baby. Calm down. Calm down. Calm. Okay, I take it back. Everything. Okay, it's safe. There's no docks. Wait, what the fuck? I'm just back here, dude. Now there's fences. Now I'm safe. Your choices are meaningful. We can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main I saw Mad Moon, bro. Halfway through the story, that story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. What a big room. That's a big ass gate, dude. No, this is actually such a bad design because um, the longer a gate is, right, the weight over here provides more stress on the hinges over here because of leverage. So this gate would probably wear out much faster than a gate that is like, say, this length or something because there's less uh, leverage and weight and strain being put on the hinges. So this is probably in a couple of months, even just a couple of months of it being installed. It's probably going to sag down because the hinges are probably going to have so much stress on them that they're going to deteriorate. So when you open it, it's going to scratch like... Where if it was a... And it's unnecessarily big, bro. If it was just this size, I can still get out of it. Do you have a secret job? Yeah, I, I uh, look at gates full time. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again. I'm a gatekeeper, yeah. In the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> nah, nah, bro, I shouldn't. All right. Nah, 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 fuck it. Why not, no. dude? Why did you do oh. that? Oh. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Why? What did I do? I guess uh, they're not going to let me, man. I'm in trouble. I'm breaking the game. Wait, this is the first time I've been here, is it not? No, I've been here once. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. 
I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that I'm way. I'm here. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Can you literally no, not jump? I have to shut the game Let me down. in the it's okay to. door, bro. I have to. No! Let me in the it's okay door. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. It's okay. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing... It's okay, bro. We can rebuild. The ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He Chad, after this, I'll actually play the game. Something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even... This is still the intro. Had it. That there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have... This game's awesome because... I barely have to talk, man. Have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. Fucking I spoilers, so man. Be... You're right. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. Oh. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, <laughs> he entered the door on his left. <laughs> no! Why did you do that? Oh. Quickly, hurry back. I'm in trouble. Behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. Speed run. Is this just a normal game now? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. It's not normal. I can't open the broom closet, dude. It's not. It's not normal. It's fucked up. It's a fucked up version still. Come and I can't go downstairs. I can't go downstairs. Upstairs to his boss's office. It's fucked up. This doesn't look normal, bro. This looks weird. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Sure this one? Behind this okay. Door lay all the answers to his questions. Please speak clearly into this receiver. He knew the passcode. Yo, super thing over the two months? Just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. It's gonna use my mic? Wait, that's kinda breath, sick, dude. And then spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night. Night Shark. Night Shark what Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night he spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. Night Shark I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Night Shark 115 Night Shark 115 okay, Fine, you're not going to do it, but you know what? 
It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... Night Shark. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... <laughs> Dude, I'm the narrator now. What the fuck? This game got even easier. I can just watch the game from God POV. Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. No! Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Developed by Funkro. Stanley, this is important. Wait, can I actually open the door with my voice or is that just a hack? Or was I just getting fucking debated, dude? Can I actually do it? I think it's a bit. I got trolled. Fuck's sake. How many people do you think went back to that trying to open it again? They're like, there has to be another ending back here, man. There has to be another fucking ending, dude. Let me go back. Night Shark. So... Uh, Gigapixel AI? What the tuna? You listening to this, Stanley? Are you there? Um, do I recognize any names? Um, Dean. I know that guy. Shane. Uh, Dawson. What the fuck? Valve. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing. Sorry, Leroy. Take as much time as you need. Okay, now I will do what he says. What the fuck? Where am I? Wait, it didn't end. I'm in a different place. What the fuck? Wait, All where the am I? Workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Wait, what the fuck? I'm in a different, like, Stanley parable, dude. Wait, what? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... He entered the door on his left. Okay, we have a way to test if this is still the same Let's Play or if it's a fucked up one. If we go into the right and he gets mad at us, it's the same this one. Not the correct way to the meeting room. Ah, fuck. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. I didn't want to go down here, dude. I've been on here like 20 times. I just wanted to test something. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps, but eager to get back to business. We'll Stanley just go left. We'll go left. Open door on his left. Yeah, yeah, easy. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go um from here it's um left. Ah, you lucky motherfucker, dude. You're a lucky motherfucker, man. Oh, no. No, it's oh. to the right. My mistake. Just kidding. Just kidding, bro. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? It's, it's going to be this one. And I'm going to get in there before it closes. I'm going to break the game. Let's see. We went I'm going to break the game. Right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely, this way. I can get in. Oh. It is this way, huh? Oh, fuck. It's down this way. I was like, is the van gonna run me over? Like, Indiana Jones? Okay. 
Everyone always says, I wish I could see inside Chibli's mind. This is the most accurate uh, representation I've ever seen of it, bro. When I'm like, what do I cook for dinner? I'm like, okay, for dinner, I'm cooking recipe 136. What is it, recipe 136? It's roast tomatoes and pesto pasta uh, penne, bro. Oh, what do I want to cook for dinner? Recipe 509. What is that? It's uh, barbecue burrito wraps with a uh, fake corn and uh, on grilled onions, grilled peppers. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay. I close my eyes. I close my eyes. I close my eyes. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole I close story them. Completely unusable. Can I open them yet? Rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No! And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Don't do it! Okay. Uh... From the top. No! What the fuck? That ending was so short. All of his co-workers were gone. What it was so mean? short, dude. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Unless it ain't done yet. When Stanley, wait. Okay, wait, it's what? fucked up. It ain't done. No I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over completely fresh. It ain't done. Everything it ain't done. Be... Oh, did something change, Stanley? Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did no. You move the story somewhere, or a... no, I don't. Well done. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. <laughs> I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. This one. An open world game, dude. His worst nightmare. Is the time right? No. Actual back rooms? Wait, true. The trick to a real back room is you just follow your intuition. Six posters, three doors, three doorknobs, concourse sign. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely no. that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Don't take me back, bro. I've okay, almost cracked it. it. A shot. Why not? No, I was so close. I just know, dude. Two more corners and I was there. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What the fuck is an on day? Oh. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? He's gonna tell me to look at the on day mug. It's all it was a part of the story the entire time, bro. Also, look, game broke. Look, there's one down here and there's one here too. Why would you? If I saw it, there was a mug on the ground, I wouldn't put my mug where the mug on the ground is, bro. Because this obviously means there's like a tectonic plate under here or some shit that knocks the mug off all the time. Taze on day? Did you just say Taze on day? Uh, I'm gonna fart. Don't tell anybody. Oh god, that's terrible. I hope the microphone didn't pick that up. The best part about that is just him saying, I hope the mic didn't pick it up, but it was like <laughs> so loud, bro. The story. Here it comes. It wasn't even like faintly picked up. It was loud as fuck, dude. No, wait, never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. It was a solid fart. Oh my god, I'm in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this, 
Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office Content building. created. It, is that correct? Perk. Greater than seven. Do you remember, Stanley? Perk says something with the eight. What? Thank you so Since much. I've completely forgotten Welcome what back. we were supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! Yes! Congratulations! I know you put in a Fuck yes, effort. man! I Did actually won the game! Yourself? Good job. Oh, no. No. I don't kind of lackluster ending, though. I'm gonna be, like, kind of lackluster winning. Like, like where's the, the, the actual win. confetti? Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay, this shit's not gonna be actual restart. No fucking way, bro. Right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Watch this Just be like the, the like, line. secret 20-hour ending. I'm gonna be here for the next 20 hours doing, just restarting. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in Desert the Desert Bus direction. 2, man. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or Wait, true. another way. Is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life The itself? line five hour oh, long ending? Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Yes! FKA Twigs? Okay, never mind. Get me the fuck out of here, dude! Fucking free me, man! Wait, cut the music. I'm in fucking Go hell! That fern. I'm not going back. The music's gonna start. I just know. Yo, a chill you, a chill, a chill you. Thing for the six months. Stanley. This fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uppy things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty nine, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight. 930, 31, 32. Yeah, whatever, bro. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you no. know we're looking for the standard. No, parable, no. Right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? No. Oh, I'm just back here, oh, dude. No, no, no. <laughs> Line, how could you I feel like I'm in prison, us? man. Now after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you. Oh, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Okay, I'm sure it's an actual restart this time. Never mind, bro. Uh, yellow line's back. You know what, Stanley? I say for Okay, the fuck me. Line, what's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in... Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Backroom simulator again? Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. This is like the SpongeBob episode be, Stanley, with Patrick and SpongeBob, which is in a box, bro. It. And they're like, this is fucking amazing, man. There's anything we could want it to be. We're just in a box. Oh, no, not you again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. 
No lines or monitor rooms. Okay, I got the other way. Acknowledge it. We should be fine. I got the other way. Huh? Okay, it continues. We're actually going a different way? Oh, wait. Okay, we go this way. Did you play the egg game yet? I did play Exit 8 yesterday, yeah. I, I, so I, I'm not gonna brag, but I beat that game so quick, bro. I'm so good at Exit 8. No, just kidding. I backseated. Not that one. Oh, never mind then. I don't know. Wrong game. Is the 8 game in this game? No. Ooh, you guys are keeping secrets from me. Ooh. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. Left From door. Here, the story is in our control. Left door. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. okay. So I know that each Ooh, I can't stop yawning, somewhere, dude. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination I'm getting so dizzy. corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the okay. door on the right is the correct one. I Another actually. For logic. Come, Stanley, our destiny. Awaits. First of all, don't tell me to come. Second of all, I trust him now. I mean, I I thought he was going to give me the choice, but even if he gave me the choice, I was going to go the right door because we're like trauma bonded now, dude. Like we've been through so much shit, shit together and now like we're both trying to get out of this bullshit. So I'm just going to trust every fucking thing he tells me to do. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're oh. telling me that's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this <laughs> I die! It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Wait, which one are we oh, on? I don't want to forget. My mind goes blank. We're on, uh... It's written here on this, this we're not on that one. Wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. Dude, I'll fucking play it until the end. I don't care. Starting. I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't <sighs> do it. I don't even remember how. I don't even remember what I did to get to this ending. Like I don't even remember how the fuck I got to this point. Did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even know? Is it when I went down the Will elevator? Come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. If what this is, is a test of endurance, I got it, dude. Sure in the destination or on the, the screen, journey, I can't read, guys. The journey and not the destination. That's kind of crazy. I'm a streamer. I don't know how I even interact with the chat. We'll find out, won't we? I just, I just context, well, context clues. Oh my fucking god, dude! Was that? <laughs> Was that in the game? <laughs> I know that's insane, but like maybe that wasn't in the game, All dude. Maybe that's my computer like beeping at me or something. No, I don't know. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Okay, everything's on fire. That's different. That's different. Oh, new content? Ooh. What does that mean? New content. Ooh, I don't mind if I do, dude. Disney World. 
fucking Disney World ride, man. This is like the Minecraft server that's uh, recreates Disney Hello, World. And thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Which actually used to be such a good Minecraft As server. Know, the and then Stanley they got sued, Parable I think. Was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. A Wait, so the, of the game for consoles and home computers. This version's kind of new, huh? I didn't even know that. The Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Nine years? That's not that bad, right? Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Game of um, endurance. Game of endurance. Good? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Wait, there's an achievement for not playing the game for five years? That's so funny. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. It's as if, um, oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. All right. The jump circle. All right. All right. Four guys mini right, game. Let's see. It's the jump circle. Oh, you can fucking jump in this one, dude. Fuck this. Is... is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness. I can't jump again. I'm done. I can't jump anymore. What's up, Adrena? Initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, I thought I'd still be able to I jump. I thought I like unlocked it. Twenty hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to thirty trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if oh wait, there's more. Very good. Yes, I knew. Okay, maybe we get. Maybe we can sprint. Let's maybe see. the next one's a sprint I'm circle. Whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying the new content. The whole entirety of the new content was a That's jump it? circle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Are you fucking me. kidding me, Stanley? dude? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason. Nine years for this? Dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on I'm this? I'm infuriated and I'm... <laughs> Gooper gang! Gooper gang! Thank you for the raid, Mia Gooper. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you had an awesome live stream. Offended, and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Stanley? Oh, the Stanley awful, Parable. Stanley. I, I found too much every ending I find it results in me getting killed. Never have lived up to such I die in every fucking ending, dude. Why don't we just reset the game? And we'll try Except there's one ending the that I've been on for like really 30 about. minutes. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me. Wait, okay, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess an emote, a uh, uh, external plugin emote that Mia Gupa has in their chat, and I'm gonna see if I get it right. I'm gonna guess they have classic. They gotta have classic, bro. They probably got classic, 100%. Having a. Did I get it right? Did I get it right? Fuck, I got it wrong. I got it so wrong. 
Uh, Sag. You got Sag. You definitely got Sag. With the Spongebob. Spongebob one. Definitely got Sag. Guess my most used one? In your own chat? Or everywhere else? Or did I just guess Sag? Is, is, do you use Sag all the time? I've never had a conversation before. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know what's happening. A great Chat. What is BB? I don't see BB. What is the fuck is BB? Is it a new emote? Do I have to refresh? I don't see what BB is. Or is it bye bye? Let me refresh. What is BB? Or bye bye. I. Oh my god! It's so fucking sad. What the fuck is this problem, bro? I'm together like always. What, what is that? Say, friend? Is that even a cat? What the fuck is that? What is that? Still on this fucking ending, huh, bro? Psst. Stanley. Over Come here. Over here. In the vent. Oh I'm my god, Among Us something. reference, man! Among Us reference, bro! Coffee nut. I fucking vented, dude. I'm the imposter Among Us. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past, and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special, and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't what find it. What the fuck, it. Baldur's Gate? Just our little secret. Take a look. I call it... The memory zone. Life, it's man. All my favorite memories, so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Wait, this house is fucking beautiful, man. I want to live here. Are you kidding me? She looks sick. Oh, wait, I'm gonna cry. <gasps> wait, I need to watch a movie that's gonna make me cry tonight, bro. Remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release. Remember back in October of 2013 when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. I'm gonna cry. BB, BB. Nostalgia, dude. Oh. Dang, this shit only came out in 2013. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of Stanley Parable in 2013. What's up, Lils? Lily Pip? Wait, is the Stanley Parable the game where, um... Germa had a spider on his face? <laughs> AI-generated sentence, dude. That's this game? That's so fucking funny. A trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. This is the first dollar they made on their first sale, dude. Don't play for five years. It is impossible to get this achievement. Nominee British Academy Award, the Stanley Parable Game Innovation, British Academy Game Awards. They couldn't sacrifice, you know, some performance for a couple more pixels on this picture. Debut game. Story. The Los Angeles Times. Stanley Parable deals tough choices. We got that ending, guys. Remember, we got that ending. Where I died. Oh, oh, little 
little Stanley, dude. Little Stanley, bro. Je suis dans la memories of la And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. I'm listening like to the music. The stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up <coughs> less than any form of art, the Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Hang on, I need some chapstick. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. I think I actually inhaled a piece of chapstick. The gag was genuine, dude. <laughs> Minecraft! Wait, first bait, first night in Minecraft house. Portal! Oh, I can go downstairs though. No, I can't. YouTube! Don't demonetize me. I said can't. Okay. C A. No, C can't. C A N T. Person of the year. Picture of every serial killer combined into one human being. I thought that was the French flag. Hey. Oh, I thought that was someone bending over a table. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. It is crazy to me that this isn't even the like actual full ending, bro. This is just a side ending. I want to go in the serious room. Please. How do I get into the serious room? Let me in the serious room, bro. Am I too silly to go into the serious room? Oh, these were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Let me in the serious room. Maybe if I press the button. Let me fucking in, bro. I thought I had choice in this game. I thought I could go wherever I wanted. I like work. I just hate my boss. Oh, true, bro. I need to get one of those, man. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Back in the fucking back rooms, dude. Oh no. Oh god, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. Oh I can't even no. What's been oh no, sure, man. Were glowing as well, weren't they? Racism. 
Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue. Who the fuck's bug Livia? More irritating than entertaining. Unfunny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Bug Livia got put on blast, bro. Absolute blast. Their account gets reported so much they got banned off Steam after that. Fucked up, man. Fucked up devs. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not still preachy, nine. It's I? still three hours on record, though. Tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Who writes a Steam review at 11 a.m.? <laughs> Very true. Hold on to. Wait, true. Marks on my otherwise Wait, what day was it? Record. Chat, what day of the week was the 5th like of June, 2016? Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. How the fuck do you guys know? A Monday? How do you know that? How do you know that? Bro, they, I wrote a Steam review at 11 a.m. on a Monday, bro. I lied. Oh my god. I trust you. We can just pretend it's Monday. I mean, it's a one out of seven chance it is Monday. It was a Sunday? No, that's not as funny, guys. It was a Monday, okay? They both sound the same anyway. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 Cookie do, do, nine. Do, do, do. What about the 9th of March? Anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too what, yeah? preachy, then... 2014. Then letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customers. Today. Also Sunday? Yes, Fuck! Skip button, we shall have. These people have lives! I don't want to push the skip button. Is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button. I'm not going to push it, bro. Me and it. narrator Oom feel like be besties possible. now, bro. And I'm very proud to have delivered. Like, I love him. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. We've been through so much. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices are what have you. And therefore, by becoming it is. So on and so forth. Until inevitably, we all... Okay, this voice is... Uh, I might and skip this time, voice. If he continues his voice, I might have to skip. See, blah, 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 blah. We've eaten too much and it can't be just yet. No, no, until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. It went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just yet, no, no, until 245, that the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction therefore becomes impossible to manufacture, it went on for nearly 10,000 years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say... 
the story, and the choices, or what have you. And therefore, okay, fuck by this. becoming it is, so on and so <laughs> oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes. I listened to the whole fucking thing, dude. You just started getting caught in a loop, man. You're not tricking me? Of course. I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it. But You're not I tricking me, man. I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Wait, I just or realized. Maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you. Very this is a rare quickly. stream. Tell me what you think. Okay. So my theory is that any I normally never stream on Wednesday is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are or were or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you a rare stream, made, dude. you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, I am meant to skip again. I should hand out a moment for the stream. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really... Oh, Stanley! <laughs> You're back! Oh my goodness! I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I... I think it's been a week. Or two weeks? I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how... Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything. Oh, no. Things. He's giving me I've the talk, so dude. so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days. Months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment. Dude, trauma dumping. Get him out of here. I wanted him to come back. Did he die? <laughs> but they didn't understand. Oh, he's back! Was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, Entertain And he's us. still ranting, dude. Enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then, he's talking too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the... Bye. And this is why... As a streamer, you should not read what everyone says about you, dude. You gotta log off, man. When you end stream, you gotta log off, dude. It doesn't matter. You, you're gonna get caught in the Stanley parable, bro. The end is never the end. Is Cause you'll end up end like this guy. Never the end is 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 never the end. This was just me playing Dizipus. Is never the end is never the. This is literally Tibli commentary during Dizipus, dude. Is never the end. 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 You went Oh. Is never the end. Is never the end. Any Easter eggs? No Easter eggs. When do we get the button for chip streams? Dude, surely it's been like a thousand years by now, right? 
Chip still isn't the normal ending. I'm beginning to think this ending is longer than the, like if you just followed what he told you to do the entire game. Right? This ending's been like an hour long. Hit it one more time. Oh, so cute. What the fuck? I want to live here, bro. Imagine the termites living in this shit. Last of Us moment. Okay, now got fucking grim, man. What happened? Is it winter time? They got the Halo theme song outside. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? They've got my awesome journey, man. Journey, what a beautiful game. Y'all should play Journey. I recommend everyone in chat play Journey, dude. And it's like an hour long. Hereditary soundtrack. Is that actually the end? No shot, man. You can't, you're not gonna leave me with no conclusion. What? All of his co workers were gone. No, that's mean? actually the end of Stanley that ending. Decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No way. Uh... Fuck yes, it's not. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. I, I almost closed the game. I almost closed the game. Told you it was a five hour ending. Surely it's not an actual five hour ending. I've been right? reflecting on the story. You can't save the game. If I leave, I'm fucked. How disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Did Which me and the narrator get married at the I'm end of this? I'm to announce for the first time ever, The Stanley Parable 2. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? Bro, I'm not even... Yeah. It could go in so many different I didn't directions. even finish the first this one yet. Slow is down. what fans have truly been asking for. Off painting K. I didn't even do the first it, one. Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams <sighs> progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. No, yeah, they picked the best one. This is the best logo. These other ones are kind of ass. That one looks like The Last of Us. That one looks like fucking some bullshit. That one looks like some fucking cyberpunk shit. That looks like a horror game. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure <laughs> that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of Goo naturally scrum around them. It'll all work itself out. A thousand game design. Is oh, much more of a fuzzy magic. Nine. Never mind. Logical, really. <gasps> Day one. 
man. What the fuck? Vivek Ramaswamy reference, dude. Kind of. Close enough. They just, they, 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 they missed a couple streams. I don't know the exact hand signal. Great question. Thanks for answering. I mean, asking. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Thanks for answering. Uh, hear your name in the game. Okay, that's not scary. The button that says uh, the, that says the name of the player that is playing the game. Oh wow! Is it in here? Can I press it? For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious Why did I choose the dark store, dude? Individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button, which speaks the Too many VTubers have died to this button? Does it actually say like my computer's name? Name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Let me mute my desktop audio and see what it does. I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate okay. the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind. Are they just making me a GJ RP character? And simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken okay. as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities. Creating a character as Jim, in my mind. As Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? I'm gonna be honest. If no, so, not really, bro. Step forward and press the button. I didn't really get into the character. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. This is so stupid. Jim. <laughs> It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, this is it so would still dumb. be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Chat, when does it end? <laughs> oh... It never ends? No shot, bro. I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. The jump circle, the infinite hole. Ooh. Okay. You can quit and rejoin at the new, new content. At the new, new content door. This goes on a bit. Okay. Let's run a percentage. Where's my D20? Where's my D20? Let's run some percentages, okay? I have my D20 out. If I stop right now, okay? I stop playing this. There is probably like a 70% chance I stream Stanley Parable again. If I go to the end of this and go overtime, I don't know why I needed a D20 for this. And I go overtime, right? The, I There is like a 30% chance I play it again. What odds... Do you guys prefer me playing this again and finishing this or me doing this now? I don't know why I'm asking you because I've already kind of made up my answer, bro, in my head. I'm not going to lie, but. I should just play this again so we can do this ending and other endings, bro. When would that be? Tomorrow. Isn't that fine? And I'll roll the dice. If it's a nat 20, I, I gotta play it tomorrow. It was an eight. Uh, 
I'm going out tomorrow night. Well, if you cancel plans to watch tomorrow night, you can put on the next census that you've canceled plans to watch Shibli. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the Jim button away. Otherwise, soon Jim, you'll start Jim, to lose all Jim, sense of who Jim, you actually Jim, are. Jim. Jim. Fuck, man. Wait, if I quit, does it really save it, though? Yes? Well? Why are you guys troll facing? Am I gonna Google it? Hang on, let me listen to this one more time before I close the tab. Uh, I'm gonna fart, don't tell anybody. Oh god, that's terrible. I hope the microphone didn't pick that up. I'm s uh. Does not have any saving of the game in the middle of the loop. The only way players can rely on the system's uh, native suspend feature, but those have been proven unreliable. Were you guys trolling me? It auto saves after each restart. I just started this loop? Wait, have I not been in one loop the entire time? Have I just accidentally been starting new ones over and over again by going through the new content door? Yes. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I thought the new content door was the was a new fucking loop that I've been I mean a, a, a continuation of the loop where I was following the fucking yellow line man I thought this was still continuing from the yellow line because that new content door wasn't there all the other times bro Oh my fucking god, this is me starting a new one right now. This ain't even the, uh, the same thing. <laughs> they didn't roll the credits, so I was confused. Well, it, uh, it better have been a new thing because I closed it. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks.